I'm going to run through a quick tutorial here to show you how to make box plots in Excel because that's a pretty common type of graph that we're going to be using and one that uh, seems like it's difficult for people to make. Uh, so the first thing you do is organize your data so that um, you have two columns, one that has the categories um, that you want to include on your plot. In this case, it's two different species of fish and then one that has the, uh, the numerical data uh, for those two different categories, which in this case is their lengths of, uh, of different individuals. So to make a box plot, the first thing you do is uh, make sure the data is arranged so the categories are on the left and the measurements, the, the numerical data is on the right. Uh, select the whole data table, go to the menu up here at the top and click insert, go to charts, um, and then click this little button here to make them all come out and then on the tabs at the top click all charts and go over down here to box and whisker and that uh, will make a box and whisker plot for you that has the categories on the x-axis and the measurements or the data in the two different categories the quantitative data on the y-axis um, for one of my classes you should know that I don't like titles at the top but you definitely do need axis tiles, particularly for the measurement here. You can put in that it is length measured in millimeters. It's not really necessary to have a category here. You could throw species in there if you want to. All right, that's how it's done. 